Hello viewers, in today's video I will show you how you can root Honor 9 Lite which is running EMUI 9.1 version. Uh, viewers, uh, first we need to enable developer options by tapping 7 times on build number. Once we have enabled developer options, we need to go in developer options and uh, enable OEM unlock and uh, USB debugging. Viewers, the Chinese model don't have OEM unlock option and USB debugging will only work when you select USB files transfer mode while your phone is connected with your PC. Viewers, to generate bootloader code, you need to open the back cover of your phone. You can see I have also opened my phone. So it is not easy to generate the bootloader unlock code. It is a complicated process and you have to open the back cover okay we will proceed uh, with the process of uh, routing this phone enable USB debugging again and uh, my phone is not connected okay now and now need to select uh, USB files transfer mode and then USB debugging will work now we will move to computer and uh, there we need to type command first we need to copy that magisk zip file to sd card uh, of our phone viewers you cannot use internal storage because internal storage is encrypted make sure you use the version which i have used in this tutorial if you have any old version of Magisk, please remove from your SD card and then open open that uh, CMD window. And uh, here you need to type the command adb space reboot dash bootloader. When we will type adb space reboot dash bootloader and press enter your phone should immediately enter fast boot mode also known as uh, bootloader mode where uh, we will see the status of uh, our phone's bootloader that uh, it is uh, locked or unlocked I think uh, the phone got disconnected so we was uh, this is a very important thing that uh, you select uh, USB to files transfer mode only then USB debugging will work you can see now phone rebooted and uh, it should enter fast boot mode now here we can see phone is showing locked so we need to use our bootloader code to unlock this phone uh, as I have told you that uh, getting bootloader unlock code is very complicated process and you have to open the back cover of your phone only then bootloader code can be generated and it will cost you around uh, 30 dollar at at this moment okay now we will command the enter the command for uh, fast boot uh, for bootloader unlock which is fast boot space oem space unlock space and then paste the code and press enter and uh, then on your phone screen a warning will appear select yes and press power button to confirm your decision viewers if you are lucky uh, if you have got the code before Huawei stopped uh, providing uh, bootload run lock codes for free then you can also follow this process okay now the phone should perform a factory reset viewers uh, keep in mind that uh, routing your phone will wipe your all data so make sure you back up all important data from your phone before proceeding with this root process okay now the factory reset process i have uh, just skipped to make the video shorter now phone should uh, reboot normally
phone just booted up now we need to go through the initial configurations just like uh, we do with the new phone you can skip most of the steps you don't need to enter google account you don't need to set up the screen lock it is very important don't set up screen lock before routing okay so we will go through all the settings no need to set up face unlock no need to set up fingerprint lock nothing you should skip most of uh, these uh, configurations once we reach uh, home screen we need to enable usb debugging again just like we did before we need to tap uh, seven times on build number and then in developer options we need to enable usb debugging once usb debugging has been enabled viewers this is very important you, you should uh, disc, uh, you should disable automatic upgrades of your phone otherwise uh, your phone may get bricked during uh, this uh, uh, your phone may get brick after the root if your phone gets uh, upgraded automatically because rooted phone should not be upgraded through OTA I will make sure that uh, automatic updates are off also in uh, developer options okay USB debugging has been enabled now we need to move to computer where we need to proceed further with the routing process you need to type uh, adb reboot bootloader again and phone should enter fast boot mode and then you need to flash twrp recovery command is fast boot space flash space recovery underscore ram disk space and then drag, drag and drop the twrp recovery on cmd screen and press enter once flashing completed you need to disconnect your phone from your computer and uh, hold volume up and power button simultaneously to enter twrp recovery mode this is very crucial step if you fail to enter twrp mode in first attempt you have to repeat the process of flashing twrp recovery okay now i am holding volume up and uh, power buttons make sure phone is disconnected from pc and uh, let's wait when you see this screen that uh, a warning screen you can let go of uh, the buttons and the phone should enter twrp recovery mode viewers for some users touch may not work in uh, twrp recovery because this is not official twrp recovery so you need you may need to use uh, otg usb mouse you need otg connector uh, and then you can use usb mouse to use uh, this twrp recovery okay now we can use this mouse swipe to allow swipe to unlock the device swipe to allow modifications and here in twrp recovery you need to tap on install don't touch anything else and then select on uh, tap on select storage and from here we can uh, choose uh, micro sd card and press ok now here we need to tap on uh, magisk zip file and then swipe to flash now this flashing process uh, uh, should take a uh, few seconds like uh, 10 to 20 seconds only flashing has been completed now we need to tap on uh, reboot system viewers uh, you can also use uh, settings uh, uh, sorry reboot option of twrp recovery and choose recovery mode because after flashing magisk we need to boot our phone same like 
uh, we boot uh, in TWRP recovery by holding volume up and power buttons. Only then phone will boot with root access. Every time you want to you want your phone with the uh, root access, you have to reboot it with volume up and power buttons pressed. Just like we entered TWRP or stock recovery. So uh, that is why I have chosen uh, reboot option in uh, TWRP recovery and then selected the recovery mode. Phone actually did not enter recovery mode, it booted up with root access. And TWRP recovery will not be accessible after flashing the Magisk. Okay, now we will see that uh, Magisk Manager is there. It means flashing has been successful. We will open Magisk Manager to verify if uh, it is detecting the Magisk is flashed. Yes, it is saying Magisk is up to date and uh, now we should uh, install root checker app to verify if uh, root access has been properly installed on this on this device you can use any free root checker from uh, google play store or you can download the apk file from any website and uh, you can install it on your phone root checker is installed now we will open to verify the root access. Tap on verify root access, verify root and uh, grant root access. And yes, it is saying root access is properly installed. So this is how we can uh, root this phone on uh, EMUI 9.1 version. Viewers, uh, make sure you disable automatic updates of your phone and always uh, reboot your phone by holding volume up button thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future